My name is Jeremy Anderson and I'm a sales engineer with Novatech and I would like to introduce you to full hot standby redundancy in the Orion LX products. What we have set up here is two Orion LXs, one in one cabinet, another in a separate cabinet that are fully redundant. And what I'd like to show you is how that works today. The Orions are connected with a parallel redundancy link. This redundancy link allows the Orions to fully sync with each other. Their complete databases are synced so that the active unit always is syncing to the standby unit. So that in the case of the active unit failure, the standby unit has the exact same data in it. Both Orions can either pull all the IEDs at the same time if the IEDs support dual masters. If they don't, we're able to have the standby unit not pull specific devices. This works with both DNP, the SEL protocol, and 61850. Uh, what I'd like to show is the ability to force these over. Uh, the reason you might want to manually force these is that uh, with, with more and more functionality in each Orion, more customers are asking us for the ability to have this hot standby functionality. And then if you want to do firmware upgrades, you don't want to lose, uh, take a SCADA outage while you're doing a firmware upgrade. In this case, you're able to manually force these uh, Orions to throw over, do a firmware upgrade in one, force it back and do this firmware upgrade in the other, and never lose any of your SCADA functionality. So I'll just demonstrate here. Currently, we have active and standby. I can force the throw over and the primary unit goes into standby and the standby unit becomes the active unit. I'm able to force it back manually and have the primary unit become the active unit again. When these throw over, what, one of the neat features is we have the ability to create a virtual IP in each Orion. What this is, allows you to do is have a SCADA master that pulls uh, one specific uh, IP address. Um, and then when the Orions throw over, the IP address gets shifted to the standby unit that now is active, and your SCADA master never actually sees that uh, IP address change. It's always polling one single IP address. The other uh, interesting functionality is each Orion is able to drive its own HMI, and these HMIs are fully synced. What you do on one HMI is replicated on the other, and it doesn't matter which HMI you go to. Uh, you can walk up to the primary HMI or the standby HMI and do any function you want, um, and it will be synced bi-directionally between the Orions. So in the case of having an alarm that you would like to acknowledge on our tile enunciator, we can come up to the enunciator and see we have three alarms. If I want to acknowledge one of these alarms, I can acknowledge it from the primary Orion, and when I acknowledge it from the primary Orion, it will be acknowledged in the standby unit. Uh, also, if you walked up to the standby unit and acknowledged an alarm, it would be replicated over to the uh, primary unit. You can see here that occurred. This is a, a new product that we are releasing right now in all Orion LX CPX and Orion LXM versions. Thank you very much for your time. This is the Orion Redundancy Protocol that is now available from Novatech. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or find any information you want at novatechweb.com.